Zoya is in college, but she and her mom Zarna are really, really close, talking and texting every day about the most mundane stuff, like what they're eating for lunch. But they deal with the big stuff, too. Ever since Zoya went away to college, 3,000 miles from her mom, they've been fighting more than ever. Mainly because at her school, Stanford University, for the first time, Zoya realized that kids her age, her peers, were making decisions, even big ones, without consulting their moms. Which was a huge, I mean, that really took me aback. I was like, wow. If Zoya could make her own choices at college without her mom, well, she loves the arts, painting, writing. An essay of hers was published in the New York Times. Her mom, Zarna, is like, sure, a little of that. One class for fun, like, fine, take something. It's, it's okay, I'll live with that. But the overwhelming focus needs to be on something science, tech, and engineering, math, that's going to lead to a job. Mm -hmm. And pay for this degree that's going to cost us a bomb and justify being at Stanford. Like, oh, she's taken an English class that, like, her professor loved her. And he told her, he's like, you're such a strong writer. I hope we don't lose you to the computer people. Mm -hmm. And when she told me that, I was like, oh, my God, these people are everywhere. I was so scared. <laughs> These people who are trying to ruin your child's life. They're like trying to ruin her life. What is happening? 